had to be a little bit of a celebration last night. Yeah, we had a good time when we got back to the uh, hotel with some of our fans and obviously the players. And uh, but we jumped right into prep. We uh, we ate and, and started in on some Gonzaga film and and uh, carried that over into today's breakfast as well. And talk about how quickly you have to go from changing your mindset from being the uh, hunt, hunted to the hunter. Yeah, I mean, I think right now it's, you know, everybody's in the same, you know, we're all in the same framework, so to speak. Once you get in the tournament, I don't think that the players and the coaches necessarily look at um, seedings or anything like that. I think you look at the next opponent ahead and you try to figure out, you know, what's the best plan to try to put your team in position to try to be successful. I guess after an, a night like last night, like what time is your, your head hitting the pillows? I'm sure your mind is just racing. I went to bed probably about uh, 4.30 and woke up to, to work out at about 5.30. So I got a good 60 minutes in. There you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> players probably slept a little bit more, obviously. Um, we didn't get together t today until 11. Um, but we're going, you know, our travel's not easy. Gonzaga's obviously, you know, they live in the Pacific time zone. All their games, because of being in the conference that they're in, their entire conference they've been in that time zone. And uh, so they, they don't have much travel. They don't have any time zone stuff. We're going from, you know, central to, to eastern to, to now Pacific. Um, and I did, we talked to the team about that and how that even affects grown pro players in any sport. Uh, when you go from New York to, to California, it's a huge adjustment. Yeah, I'm sure, sure you kind of feel like you're back in your pro days a little bit, just traveling time this zone travel, to time yeah. zone. This yeah. travel, yeah. I mean, obviously last year there was no, you know, travel didn't affect anybody, but, um, you know, certainly to go from New York to, to, to I mean, Buffalo to San Francisco is a pretty long trip, even yeah. though we got a quick stop over at home. Yeah. Have you had a chance to, to reach out to Steve Kerr or Moses or any of the, the guys that you know that are going to be over there? Well, I think they play uh, today and then they leave, obviously, because we're, you know, the tournament's kind of taken over the arena. Uh, but I have uh, reached out to Moses. Um, you know, don't think that, that there'll be any overlap of anything. Um, but my phone, my son's phone, Coach Smart's phone has not stuck. Like, we won't have enough tickets. We already know that. And, and the hotel rooms, I don't even know where we're going to put family members my mom hasn't been to a game since I've coached at Arkansas so it'll be her first time uh watching watching us play live so that'll be really cool too at her age she hadn't been able to to travel but from San Diego to to San Francisco it's pretty easy travel I'm just gonna ask about that I mean it's gonna be really cool for you to you know coach a team back in your home state yeah I mean it's it's uh you know, just, I mean, I don't know any of the history, but there's probably not a lot of NCAA coaches that have been in a Sweet 16 and they're going to coaching, them, even though it's a different arena, but an organization that fired you. You know, it's pretty, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty cool, though, to, uh, you know, to be able to go back there and, um, you know, the, their ownership, um, you know, Kirk, whose dad owns the team, uh, he was texting me before the tournament, you know, hey, we'd love to, have the Razorbacks here playing, and so uh, I'm 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 excited. You know, it's it's always about the players. It's never about you know the staff. But you know, I'd be I'd be lying if I didn't say that that if there's one place that we could go back to, it would it would it would be there. I saw some post game uh, locker room footage last night. You had Audis put kind of the, the Arkansas plaque on that board. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think that? that meant to him and you you really talked him up a little bit after the game yeah I just felt like um you know guys that score points or guys that get you know all conference stuff like they you know they they've had the spotlight on them and and maybe Adis has not had the spotlight on him um and he's done you know so much on on non-box score related things by you know causing a guy to take a, a higher degree of difficulty shots or being a great basket cutter and so, you know, because of that, you know, I, as I was walking in, I, they, I don't know why they didn't have the thing after game one. It's the first time ever where you couldn't put your name up after game one. But, um, you know, walking in, I, I had seen the sign uh, at halftime and felt like it would be 
you know, a, it'd be, he'd be good for, for Adis to be able to do that. What's your, just your initial thought on being able to get a shot at, at Gonzaga, the number one overall seed? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, that I know a lot of people that have played against him. I have a lot of friends that uh, either coach in that league or have played against them. Um, so to say that um, I, there's familiarity. I mean, I stay up late at night and watch that conference. It's only on, though, when Gonzaga's on. So I guess <laughs> I, I, I've seen most of Gonzaga's games because if San Diego's playing Pacific, that game's not on TV. Um, but, like, you know, like I said before, um, respect everybody, fear no one. And um, Gonzaga's a great team. Um, you know, we kind of felt like when we were at Nevada that, that Nevada and, and Gonzaga were the two best teams, although we were both mid-majors, but that we, we both felt like we were better than the Pac-12. And um, scheduling-wise, um, never never worked out. It, it was tried, um, but but didn't work out. And, um, you know, so here we go. Good. Thanks, Coach.